Hello everybody, welcome back to Jamco Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to easily set up modding for Skyrim Special Edition. I've got two links here. We'll start with the Nexus page. Right, you're going to need to register and make an account or log in if you've already got one for Nexus mods. You're going to want to head over to this Vortec launcher link that I've uh, put in the description and download that. Other launchers are available, but I feel like this is a great starting launcher that comes with the Nexus platform, so there's good continuity with the mods. We've got to agree to the changes, and once it's installed, you know, wait for it to launch, and now you're going to have to find your Skyrim directory, or just manage the game if it auto-detects it, which it can. So you can scan for games at the bottom right. Your Skyrim directory, you go to Steam, you go to Properties, then you go to Local Files, Browse, and then it will show you where your Skyrim is installed on your hard drive. You need to select the Skyrim launcher and then this will allow you to manage Skyrim. The next program you'll need is either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I will put a link to both in the description and it's simply selecting the 64-bit version of the program and then clicking install. I'll show you on WinRAR and 7-Zip. I personally prefer WinRAR, but both of them work for modding the game. So you go to your downloads, you Press the WinRAR executable and it then converts all your files into WinRAR files and they have the bookcase symbol next to them. 7-Zip does a similar thing but it just converts the files into a 7 icon. Next link you'll want to click on is the Skyrim script extender which will be in the description. You want the anniversary edition and you just simply press that to download it and it will be in your downloads folder. You then open the Skyrim script extender file and using WinRAR, which it will automatically do. Then you will need to find your Skyrim directory again using the same process of going to Steam, going to your properties, browse local files, and then extracting the Skyrim script extender files into the Skyrim directory location. You may need to replace the file destination, that is fine. Now you'll need to launch the game through the script extender. Now to do this, it's quite simple. You just go to the loader, right click go create a shortcut now drag that shortcut to your desktop and that's how you launch skyrim every time i'll show you quickly how to do that and as you can see the game now launches another mod i recommend to install before we get into the vortex launcher is Four's new idols this allows you to put many magic animations into the game and it's installed slightly differently to the other mods so i'll show you how to do that it's slightly more complex than the other mods but it won't take too long. First of all, you need to go to the Nexus mod page. The link is in the description. To download manually and slow download Forza New Idols. Once that's downloaded, you want to go to your downloads folder using the WinRAR, which will automatically do. Open the file again. Go to Finish Behaviors. Open the data section. And these are the files we want. So we want to copy all of them. We then want to go back to the Skyrim directory. Same again, local files, browse, then we go to the data file, then we go to the data file in the Skyrim directory and we extract all of these files into that. This is basically finished and stored. There are just a few more steps within Vortex that need to be carried out. Once you've extracted these files, you'll then need to go into data, tools, generate finish for users and find the application called generate finish for users. Double click this and it will run finish. Updating the finish behavior will initiate the mod and then that's all you need to do with this for now so you can just exit the screen. You can tick the gender specific animations and skeleton arm fix if you so desire. It's not necessary but most mods do use that. In Vortex you'll now need to go to the dashboard which is in the top left and select Four's New Idols. So once you press edit you now need to find a target so you browse your file location and select the generate finish for users application click save and then you can run this and it will open finish if falls new idols is not within the dashboard you, you can click add tool and then finish should be an option and then it should be grayed out like this and then you can carry on the next stage is to make sure finish always runs when you're launching the game with the mods to do this you go over to the settings and then scroll down to run finish on deployment event if necessary Right, now we can actually use the Vortex Launcher to install a list of mods that I believe are a great start to add mods to your game. As you can see with SkyUI, which is a very useful mod that allows you to control mods within the game, 
with an in-game menu. There is a requirement of Skyrim script extender, which we have previously installed, so it's fine to just manually install this. We've met it dependable. You can download with the mod manager, but then you'd have to log in to the mod manager, or you can manually download and then just drag it in, which I'll show you now. Press the slow download, which takes about five seconds to start. Once you have downloaded SkyUI, it should be in your downloads folder. You simply drag the SkyUI into the drop file section of the Vortex launcher. You then select the drop down menu and press enable. I've already installed this, so I'll quickly uninstall it and reinstall it to show you how it works. So when you first drop a mod into the Vortex launcher, it will be blue and say uninstalled. But then you just press the drop down menu, the arrow to the right of it, select enable and then it will automatically install the mod. In the description, there are a list of mods, which I recommend to install as a first modding experience. Here are these mods here, I've already downloaded them. I'll quickly install them onto the game and I'll show you how you make sure that they're properly working. It's the same principle for downloading each mod as it was with the Sky UI. Though some mods do have dependables, so you'll need to check the requirements to see if they need an extra mod as a master's file. Once you have enabled these mods, you can simply launch the game. To make sure the mods are working, you can go to the mod section in the menu once the game is launched on the main title screen. You may need to create an account for the creation club, but then you go to your load order and make sure that each mod has a tick next to it. As you can see, race menu does not, so you'll have to tick this, as well as finish, that will require a tick as well. Now you know that all these mods are installed and are working within your game. You can go ahead and load into a new save. It's recommended that you start a new save every time you install mods or uninstall them so you don't corrupt your file. As you can see, race menu has worked, which is one of the mods that we've installed that allows you to customize your character a bit more than the usual setting. You can install presets, which I'll show you how to do in another video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.